From Software's newest release, Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon is finally here, a revival of one of their oldest franchises. After the recent success of their newer titles, people have been eager to play this one, especially on Steam Deck, considering how successful their previous title, Elden Ring, was on the device. Today we're going to boot it up and go through the first few minutes of the game, and then play with the settings a bit and see how it runs. Valve has this game marked as playable at the current moment, but the reasoning is that some text might be too small to read, like you can see the little copyright down here. That can be easily fixed by holding the Steam button and the left bumper when you can zoom in and read some things that you normally can't. Going into the graphics settings now, we have our full screen options. You obviously just want to keep that on full screen if you're playing on deck. Uh, for resolution, you can change it to 16 by 9 or anything lower if you prefer that. The frame rate option is particularly interesting because it allows for options above 60 FPS, which isn't usually an option in From Software games. The highest option is 120 FPS, so still not uncapped, but definitely an improvement considering From Software's previous releases. And then we have the quality settings, which defaults to high on the Steam Deck, which is very interesting. I'm gonna keep all the graphics settings at high, but I'm gonna disable depth of field and motion blur just for personal preference, so let's get right into it. The GPU and CPU are hovering around 87 degrees Celsius right now, which is pretty hot, but we are outside in the heat. It's about 30 degrees Celsius right now. So in this smaller area, it looks like it's running pretty well, but I'm interested in seeing how it'll run in the more open areas. Getting about 35 it looks like now, but uh, it's gone up to about 50 for a little bit there. Looks like it's dipping down to tw in the 20s every so often, but uh, right now we're hovering around 40. This game graphically is very beautiful. Outside, it looks like we're getting around high 30s to 40. This is a very open area, and it's definitely running pretty good. There's some very minor hitches, but it's very, very playable especially for high settings. All right, now we're getting around 25, it looks like. So just from what I've played right here, it seems like in big open areas, you'll usually get about 35 to 40 FPS, but whenever big events are happening, it could lower down to 20 or 25. All right, so now that we've looked at high settings, I'm going to go down to the low settings and see what frame rate we can get. So I'm definitely seeing a difference. We're now getting about 45 to 50 now as compared to 35 to 40, sometimes dipping to the low 40s. Honestly, even on the low, I'm very surprised to see a game of this caliber running in the 50s in an open area like this. Elden Ring definitely struggled in more open areas, usually hovering around the 30 or 40 range on low settings. I will say though, this game's UI is definitely not built with the Steam Deck in mind. It's very small and sometimes hard to read. It's meant better for bigger screens or monitors. So Valve saying that it could be difficult to read smaller text is definitely right on the money. All right, I'm gonna go up to medium settings now and see how that performs. It's looking pretty similar to high, a tiny bit better, which is about what I was expecting. Mid to high 30s, sometimes 40. All right, and lastly, before we go to this next area, I'm gonna set it to the highest setting maximum, and let's see how that goes. Okay, wow. It 
still playable frame rates, but much worse than what we just saw with the lower graphics settings. It does look very nice though. This is running surprisingly well though, especially in the maximum settings. This is not bad at all. I'm gonna change it back on low. Even on the lower graphics settings, it still looks great and it runs fantastic as well. So all in all, Armored Core 6 looks and runs great on deck. I highly recommend playing through this game on here. Well, that'll be all for looking at Armored Core 6 on the Steam Deck. In the next video, we'll be going over the recommended specs and trying it out on there, which I'm very excited to see considering how well it runs on deck. Thank you for watching.